Now we talked about personal possessions of the crews of the ships. It's always that gives it that special element, you know, the, the actual human touch, if you like. Look at this little thing. It's a perfect little pipe that was actually on the uh, on the wreck of the HMS A1. Now, a lot of people that have visited the submarine museum in Gosport think that the first British submarine was was actually a, a, a Holland class. Um, well, it, yeah, it was. I mean, it was one of the early, early um, submarine boats, but it was American, uh, Irish designed and British built. The HMS A1, the A-class submarines were actually British designed and British built. So it's the first all British submarine. Look at that little pipe. One of the crew actually was obviously smoking that on board, but it's in perfect condition. It's a, obviously a, a quite a high quality pipe made out of good material. But it's, it's another indication of what, how nice it is to find personal items. Now the A1 had a bit of a checkered career. It, um, it sank, unfortunately, with all the crew on after being rammed by a, a ship called the Berwick Castle uh, off the Nab Tower in an exercise. Um, all the crew drowned. They managed, the Navy managed to re re relocate the boat and, and bring it up and, and give the sailors a decent burial. She was then put back in service. She had an explosion in 1910 where someone was blown out of the conning tower um, unfortunately, in those days, they had petrol engines, so it was a bit of a dangerous uh, uh, thing as, as regards petrol fumes inside the boat. And the great story about that was the, their gas alarm, or their, their petrol fume alarm, was three white mice. And these three white mice were actually on the payroll. Now, you're not going to believe this, but it's true. They were actually on the payroll of the British Navy. Now... They didn't do much as regards uh, sniffing out fumes because they were so overfed by the crew that most of them were too fat to even move. But there's another story.